Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Tiffany, and in today's activity, we will be learning about how to identify the reasons and evidence a speaker provides to support a particular point. Before we get started on our activity, let's read the informational text. Do you remember what an informational text is? Don't worry if you don't. The primary purpose of informative or explanatory texts are to spread or educate the reader on a certain topic. Now that we know what an informational text is, let's get started. This is the text Exploring Albert Einstein's Brain. Have you ever wondered what makes someone super smart like Albert Einstein? Scientists were super curious too. When Albert Einstein passed away in 1955, his brain was carefully taken out for research. For years, scientists have been studying it to learn more of what made him so special. Based on the topic that we would like to collect information on, which we talked about earlier about Albert Einstein's brain, let's underline the sentences that might help us. Talking about how Albert Einstein's brain was taken out for research can definitely help us with this topic. One thing they found is that Albert Einstein had a unique brain structure. It was a bit different than the average brain. Some parts were larger or shaped differently. This helped scientists understand how he might have been so good at math and science. Were you able to figure out the sentences in this topic? In this paragraph, indicating that Albert Einstein had a unique brain structure helps summarize everything that was stated in this paragraph. Another cool discovery was that Albert Einstein's brain had more of a special kind of cell, which was called glial cells. These glial cells help support the brain's nerve cells. Scientists think that these extra glial cells might have helped Einstein think in unique ways. For this paragraph, did you figure out the sentences? That's right. The presence of glial cells. And not only that, but also what the glial cells do, which helps support the brain's nerve cells. But wait, there's more. The part of Einstein's brain that deals with math and spatial reasoning was also found to be well developed. This might explain why he was so good at coming up with complex theories, like his famous theory of relativity. This is a theory which you might recognize, and it's known for its famous equation. It's also known as EMC squared. Did you figure out the sentences for this paragraph? That's right. Indicating that Einstein's brain, dealing with math and spatial reasoning, was well developed. Even though Einstein's brain was special, scientists say that anyone can be smart in their own way. It's all about working hard to learn new things. So, studying Einstein's brain has taught scientists a lot about what makes someone super smart. And who knows, maybe one day you'll make your own amazing discoveries too. This is the last paragraph. And there's no need to identify the sentences from this paragraph because this was the conclusion. Typically, the conclusion already has information from all of the previous paragraphs or wraps it up and uses the previous information. 
That's the end of our activities. Great job on analyzing an informative text with me today. Thank you for learning with us today. I hope you enjoyed this activity. I also hope that you have a better understanding of how to analyze and identify the reasons and evidence a speaker provides to support a particular point. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please like and subscribe to our channel and we will be back with more videos.